Hello again. I thought I'd start my first science video on something I know pretty well. The brain! I'm going to be talking about some neuroscience today. Neuroscience, neuroscience today. I'm going to be talking about that if that's okay. I think it is, yeah, I think it's great. Let's go, let's go neuroscience. So I'll start with the simple fact that your whole body is made up of cells. Your skin, your hair, your eyes, your tongue. It's all made of cells, including your brain. Your brain is also made up of cells. When some of these brain cells, also known as neurons, die, that's called neurodegeneration. Neuro like brain and degeneration like wearing away. Different parts of your brain have different jobs, so depending on where these brain cells die, different effects are seen. Therefore, there are numerous different neurodegenerative disorders. I'm going to spin my wheel of neurodegeneration and see what we get today. <laughs> Ding! Parkinson's disease. So Parkinson's disease is one of these neurodegenerative diseases. Today I'm going to explain how it works. The main symptom of Parkinson's disease is difficulty with movement. Sometimes complete rigidity, sometimes shaking. To understand what causes Parkinson's disease, we must ask ourselves, what is a movement? I've enlisted the help of myself to help explain what causes Parkinson's. The first question to address is, what is a movement? Me moving my arm isn't as simple as my brain sending a signal to my arm muscle and my arm muscle moving. A key part of any movement is you wanting to move. Otherwise, your brain could send signals willy-nilly and your arm could just keep moving. And I could be like holding a glass of water and then it could just be like... God's sake. It's like, no, you've got to want to move. And this intention to move, this want to move, is controlled by a chemical called dopamine. Science words, dopamine, it's a science word. All right, so dopamine is a chemical and also a science word, but how does it actually control our movements? In what you're about to see, my old high school locker keys represent dopamine. So whenever I don't want to move my arm, consider it locked in place. Then I think, oh, ooh, I want to move my arm. And as if by magic, Dopamine appears and allows me to unlock my arm so it can move. <laughs> Thank you, dopamine. So, dopamine acts as the key that unlocks my arm and enables it to move when I want it to. But what does dopamine's unlocking of movements have to do with the cause of Parkinson's disease? This dopamine is released by neurons in your brain. In Parkinson's disease, these neurons start to die, which means less dopamine released, which means no keys to unlock that movement. This neuron death is mainly focused in an area of your brain called the substantia nigra. Another science word, substantia nigra. This can explain many symptoms of Parkinson's. Rigidity, because you can't unlock your movement. Even shaking, because this represents your sort of battle, trying to get your arm to move, but it can't because it's not unlocked by dopamine yet. And that is how the symptoms of Parkinson's are caused. I'm gonna go sit back on my bed now. So that's the general gist of what causes Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's and neurodegeneration as a whole is a very broad topic. That's why I've got a whole wheel of neurodegeneration here. And so I'm sure I'll get back onto it again. Maybe I'll give you a cheeky little rundown of what my dissertation was on, if you're lucky. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget my Twitter and my blog still exist, so give them a look if you want. And remember, keep asking questions. And here's a summary of what I've been talking about. Give it a pause, give it a read. If there's anything you don't quite get or any further questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below. I'm gonna throw water on myself. Rain! Every time. Oh! The dopamine appears and smacks you in the head. To be fair, that was accurate because it is in your brain. <laughs>